I'm Daniel Gross, and this is The Number. Well, 2012 is coming to a close, and it's time to look back in anger at all the bad decisions, ideas, proposals that were put forth in this past year. And thankfully, many of them did not come to pass. I'm joined by Felix Salmon of Reuters. Felix, what is your nomination for the worst bit of economic policy <laughs> trash for this year? I think the number, this year? the number here is, is, is the classic 999. Do you remember this? This economy is on life support. That's why my 999 plan is a bold solution. It starts with yeah, yeah, yeah. the current tax code. <laughs> Hurricane was the former CEO of Godfather's Pizza. Briefly, the front runner, believe it or not, for the Republican nomination for president, there was about six hours or so when he was actually ahead of absolutely everybody else. And his entire campaign was based on one idea, which was called 999. You might say he was groping for an idea. The most economically illiterate concept that really I have come across in a very long time. And yet somehow it caught the imagination of enough of the Republican and Party. So what was 999? You know what, that's an incredibly good question. And even he couldn't answer that question, but he wanted to create a, a national sales tax, basically. 9% sales and, tax. And then have all of the other tax rates be a flat 9% as well. 9% for corporates, 9% for 9% individuals. income tax, 9% court, 9% dividends, and everything would be 9%. Well, all of which would create this unbelievably regressive tax code, which would hit the low-income people very hard <laughs> because they have to spend all of their money. If you don't spend the money, you don't have to pay sales tax. So high-income people would be much better off, plus they would have much lower income tax. And then on top of all that, it just wouldn't raise any, anywhere near enough money to keep the government right, but isn't this just sort of a logical extension of a, what a lot of smart people say about changing tax policy, that we should tax consumption more than income? A lot of intelligent analysts say we should have some sort of consumption tax, that you should, should, be a lower, that you should tax. lower rates and broaden the base and get rid of all these wrinkles and disruptions. Did he just, shouldn't, maybe, what if it was 19, 19, 19? <laughs> well, then, then you would have a socialist paradise. Then you're basically living in France at that point. Um, but what you need at that point is a lot of redistribution. The way, the way the Europeans do it is they have actually a more regressive tax system than the Americans, mm -hmm. but they take that money and then they throw it back into towards the people who need it and create this much stronger social safety net. The U.S. does things differently. It has a more progressive tax system, but then leaves the poor right. to their own devices. And what you saw with Herman Cain was kind of the worst of both worlds. It was more regressive without any strengthening of the social safety net. And that just doesn't fly. Okay. Well, fortunately for voters, fortunately for taxpayers, Cain was not able <laughs> to succeed no. in his 999. The voters you said, get paid no, 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 no. <laughs> I get paid by the word. Um, so... Felix's nomination for Worst Economic Policy Idea 999. Thanks What's so much yours? for joining us. I'll let you know that at a later date. Okay. I'm Daniel Gross.